Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Thornton Farm where today I've rented the Scorpion King which can only mean fun. Gotta head down to the forest and get some uh, trees collapsed down with it. Uh, let's turn it on real quick and change the cut length to... is it? Why? Six meters, I want a bunch of six meter logs. Um, Apparently, realistic fuel usage isn't turned on, so let's just fix that. There we go, we're now using fuel realistically. Uh, the reason I, I know full well why it wasn't turned on, I started recording uh, when I was in this thing, and it was turned off, and my, my recording shortcut is Control Alt T, the realistic fuel usage shortcut is Control T. So they kind of conflict a bit, but that's fine. I usually have vehicles turned on when I start recording. Um, it's a very rare thing where I, 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 I am apparently Mexican today. Um, where I don't have the vehicle turned on, that happens. Because I'm a twit. So this is going to take a little while to get into the forest. While it's on the way down, uh, I should probably say I'm recording this like immediately after the last episode. So I don't know what you guys said in the comments. Um, I'm sure there was a lot of insightful stuff and probably some hate because of the YouTube drama. But the YouTube drama can suck. McHowls. can go away. Doesn't matter to me at all. Um, anybody who wants to try and further that in the comments will just get blocked from the channel because, uh, like I said on Facebook, toxic elements of the community are not welcome in the Rainbow Dave gaming community. Um, I'm gonna actually slow down time acceleration just five times because we've gone through almost an hour and I'm still only... I'm actually... Yeah, we'll keep it five times real time uh, just to speed things up. If you missed the last episode, I am speeding things up a bit. Um, I do want to get... In fact... I'm... Uh, yeah, do you know what? Just gonna cheat for a second here. Because. Where's the trigger for this? Where is the trigger? Ah, there it is. So let's put on creative money. And let's get. Uh, let's go for 40 cows. And now we can turn creative money back off. Back up to the whoops, Scorpion King, which should be over here somewhere. There it is. That's one of the reasons that I cheat, by the way, is just to like even in role plays, if I want something for a storyline element, I will cheat the money in just because it makes more sense to me. To um, especially if it's like a storyline element or something that wouldn't be affordable for a little while um, that needs to come in for a storyline or something like that. I'll cheat money in, uh, get exactly what I want and cheat money back out. And creative money is great for doing that because it just nullifies everything that I do when I have it on. Um, it keeps the money the same, effectively. That's why I use it. That's why a lot of YouTubers use it actually. It's great for setting up maps and I'll be hopefully uh, using that well, I'll be using it significantly uh, in the very near future for one map, and uh, obviously once the West Coast comes out, I'll be using it pretty heavily at the start and then easing off, uh, probably not using it again for a while. Like I said, it'll be Seasons free Let's Play. Um, episode 1 will likely be a stream, which will be interesting. I'm planning on having the streams be part of the Let's Play on the West Coast um, as kind of an experiment to see how that works so I can make progress during the streams and just label everything as a new episode um, much like I've been doing with Donesk with the map making streams um, I've only just noticed now that the forest here is called Sherwood Forest GG GG um, yeah Oxygen David Bloom and Robin Hood reference Right, let's get this up here into what I've kind of decided is the working area for the forestry. Yep, 
Lovely six meter logs. And a nice pile of sawdust to boot. Which is just... It's just wood chips. Um, but I've got the sawdust mod which... Dumps out wood chips when I'm doing forestry. Um, to act as sawdust for extra realism, yo. And I've only just noticed how not dense the forest here is, but it's a good forest. Um, that's making me think about some stuff. <laughs> Making me think about how I want the forest on my own map to look, because you guys, a lot of you will know that I'm making Donetsk an Irish map. Um, hopefully to the same quality level as Oxygen David makes his maps. And I think I've made the forest accidentally into a forestry map. Which is uh, not the intention. But... I would like for people who enjoy forestry maps to have kind of an Irish map available as well, so... Um, you know, the forest will be reasonably good. So I'm going to just cut down a few trees. I'm not going to actually bring them anywhere today, I'm just going to cut them. Uh, and we'll move them in a stream, because you guys enjoy me struggling with trees. I'm struggling with logs. Um, one thing I do need to get at some point is a stump grinder. It'll probably be something I start myself off with on the west coast if I decide to uh, get rid of a couple of trees. I know already through talking to Landy and Sim about an edit I want to do pretty much on day one. Um, they'll probably also want to be done. So. Yeah, that might be a thing. I might be running on a, an edited version of West Coast from day one. Um, because we... Course play makes life easier for us, and having collisions and stuff in the middle of the fields is annoying. Um, especially with, like, the amount of off-camera work and stuff we have to do. Like, as an insult, like, this is episode, I think, 41 of Thornton. And I've broken 100 hours on this save game. Um, most YouTube series will have somewhere in the region of 80 to 100 hours of playtime. Even for farm sim. Even like relatively short ones like... Uh, I don't know if I got 100 hours or 80 hours on Orchard, but like relatively short series will usually have... Because of the amount of camera work that needs to be done for seeding and whatnot. 80-ish, at least 40 hours for sure. Um, and I'm up over a thousand hours in farm since 17 as a whole, so... If you guys want an insight into how much I actually do play this game, the answer is a lot, and it's required. Um, and, you know, there are days when I don't enjoy it. There's days when I see playing the game as work. And, uh, G, oddly enough, I don't see his work. I, like, I always say I'm working in G, but I see that as just fun and relaxing and enjoyable. So, if you want to, like, watch me have fun, like, a lot of fun on a near-constant basis, the GE streams are where to go, because I'm chilled out and relaxing and doing some GE and just chatting with you guys. They are really fun for me. There should have been one. I don't know when I'm putting this video up, but there will be one on Thursday. Um... Assuming this video goes out before the stream, there was one on Thursday, assuming it goes out after. But when I'm streaming midweek, I have come to the decision that all the midweek streams on this channel will be... Uh, GE streams, because... Do you know what? If you guys are working, or going to school, or whatever... You need a chill stream. You need something chilled out to watch, and... You know, you might want to talk to your friends, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of guys in... In and around this community are friends with each other. Because um, there's a lot of interaction goes on in the Discord. and That's the kind of stuff that I love seeing. Like, genuinely. I've had comments from other YouTubers saying, Dude, your, your community is insane. The support and friendliness is, like, second to none. And, you know, honestly, 
I'd take that over having, you know, I gotta name him. I'd take that over having Dagoin's number of subscribers any day. I'd... Cause, oh dear, oh dear. Honestly, like having all of the subscribers ever and having to troll through nonsense in the comment section isn't fun. Or wouldn't be. Like, Yes, I'd love a bunch of subscribers, but honestly, more important to me is having a community. You know, I've said in private messages to people on Discord, you know, that I hate calling people who watch my videos fans. I prefer to see them as followers or subscribers. But I don't I don't want any fans. I'd like followers, I'd like subscribers, I'd like members of the community. Fans, fanatics, not something I want. Fanatic is a negative word. Let's um, get the fast track, I think will be the best vehicle for this. I just abandoned that tractor at the end of the last video if you didn't notice. Um, yeah, let's get the fast track over to the forestry area. I know that I said I wouldn't be picking them up today, but I just noticed we've been cutting for 10 minutes and yeah, it's probably a good idea if I do pick up at least some of the logs today. That's the wrong way, Dave. Um, because I want to um, basically make sure that the well, everything over in the this industrial area and I need to actually check how that's producing now um, so it'll be a bit of a drive around and whoa using creative tools just to or create our tools just to move uh, things that are full out of the way this is the kind of stuff that I do off camera is just like pick these pallets up and throw them into like a pile somewhere so they are producing correctly I think one of them may have broken though not sure if that one's gonna work correctly it may have been something on the trigger it was triggering up to one though um, because there is like set times when these things trigger, there's ticks and stuff in the game that you gotta be aware of. There you go, that's all done. Uh, that needs one. That needs one. Okay, so let's just go over to this, which is, yep, almost always full now. We'll just throw this into this bee house. It should be full now. Fantastic. That's gonna start producing more beehives. And we're going to get over into the other half of the estate. Um, how's that doing for wood, actually? 5950. That's good for now. Going to get over here into the... Um, like, secondary production side, I guess. This is almost definitely... Full. I pulled the stoppy in the fast track. That's amazing. Yep, this side is going well. The compost master looks to be full again. I still kind of. I did need to come over here anyway to pick up the um, forestry equipment, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, how is this for like everything? Wood chips are two percent good. This is the boring stuff that I don't usually show because it's just picking stuff up and moving it around. There we go, off to the forest we go with this. Interestingly, I've got mouse controls now. That's producing again, that's fantastic. None of these are producing yet because we don't have manure, that's why we actually got the cows. Which we do need to feed very soon. Um, and I'm going to have to get cow feeding equipment. Uh, but they should be okay to not die too much while we sort out the industrial estate. Because uh, I don't have any feed equipment. I'm actually, just for safety, going to bring the uh, time down to times one. Just in case the cows start to do start dying off and I need to get stuff into them quickly. You might notice, by the way, I've left a log on this. 
Uh, that wasn't intended. <laughs> I meant to take this off before I started recording, but I didn't. So we're just going to fill up the trailer with logs from the industrial estate. And that should take about 15 minutes, actually. That should be a good video. Uh, or that should be a video. Logs from the industrial estate. Logs from the forest. Industrial estates don't tend to produce logs. Unless they're weird forestry industry estates, in which case they possibly do. Um, and I only realised fairly recently the forest actually goes off like in two different directions here. It actually goes quite deeply over in that direction as well. So there's more forest here than I um, than I thought there was. Which is good, because trees with seasons take like 10 years to grow. And I've been burning through trees like they're infinite on the map. Alright, that's that done. We'll keep the engine running just to power, you know, roleplay. Power the hydraulics. Um, I'm just going to want to... There we go. Because in real life you'd actually keep the engine and the tractor running. This thing doesn't have a hydraulic pump. It's PTO powered hydraulics. So you would keep the engine of your tractor running. Or whatever is pulling this. Uh, just to keep the hydraulics running. Come on. Pick up that log there. This is like a claw machine at the arcade. Because like sometimes it'll grab in a weird way, sometimes it won't grab at all, sometimes it'll grab and let it go. It just behaves in strange and mysterious ways that don't make any sense to anybody who understands physics. Alright, I can let go now and I can hopefully just nudge it with the claw. I actually can, once it's in position. That's good enough. I am using just the mouse for this, so it is not as accurate as it could be. Uh, that looks to be about the midpoint of that log. Because I'm trying to find the center of gravity of logs. Is was roughly the center point. The center of gravity point, I guess. It's probably a better way of saying it. This is probably going to tip to one side a bit. The way that I'm picking it up ever so slightly, but that's fine. You can just spin, spin around on the gimbal. So if this thing doesn't... Well, I guess technically it does have a gimbal. Gimbal, to my mind, usually means like rocket engines tilting, but it does have a gimbal of sorts. And just bring it over here and give it another twist. And we can drop it down like that. Now, I dislike forest. I disliked forestry since it started. You know, in Farmson. I've not made a secret of my dislike of forestry because it's. Sometimes it just doesn't make any sense, and the controls are, especially on keyboard and mouse, a bit weird to say the least. But I do find it relaxing. I find it both aggravating and relaxing at the same time, and I think I've got two logs here. Nope, just the one. In reality, this thing will be able to grab multiple logs at once, so that's kind of another criticism, and I'm going to base my criticisms on what would happen in reality. Uh, although in reality... I guess in reality this thing would be pretty fast moving. And maybe the logs wouldn't be this big, but be able to do I guess a bit more in reality than we can in the game. Is the way I'm gonna phrase it. Be a bit more reliable. I realise of course there are two trees just sitting on the ground over there that have not chopped up. That's perfectly fine. I completely forgot about them. When I came over here, I, like the intention was just to have a forestry episode where I cut le cut le legs and chop trogs. Yes, um, cut logs and pile them onto a trailer. I wasn't even planning on the trailer bit, but you know when I saw how long the video was going to be, when there was excessive logs in my opinion, then I had to change my plans. I'm not 
the kind of person that gets set in plans. Oh, that was perfect. Not the kind of person that gets too set in plans. If if something needs to change, I'll change it. Um, if you guys didn't already notice from the fact that the channel just keeps changing what I'm doing. Or I keep changing what goes on the channel because I want to enjoy stuff a bit more, I think. Um, I'm trying to hit a middle ground that I've not quite found just yet. Maybe the West Coast will change things. Um, but I do want to have mapping on the channel for sure. It kind of annoys me that maybe people aren't watching the mapping videos as much as I'd like. Um, because, you know, this is YouTube. Views are what do, do, does, the do does everything. Well, subscribers helps a lot as well. Um, but I was talking to Sim not too long ago. We worked out how many, like, what percentage of the subscribers to this channel actually watched uh, Monday's video. And granted, it is still Monday, so that percentage will probably increase, but it was... 1.5% or 2.5% or something incredibly small like that that's just not good it shows that I've been making st yeah, like the video is just not what you guys want and I don't know what you guys want anymore I'll be honest because I know you guys want the multiplayer at SimFA, and I'm doing my best to arrange that on a weekly basis. Uh, except for last week, where we literally all forgot about it until Friday. Um, while I was streaming, we all remembered, and somebody asked in the chat. Um, but that's difficult to arrange, because, you know, Sim works, Faye works, I'm almost always working on something or other, or helping somebody out. And those of you that have asked for my help know that I will... To the best of my abilities, help. Um, sometimes I'll say, you know, I have no idea, go ask su such a person, and they might be able to help. Um, and I've actually, literally today, I've given myself even more work to do um, over the past, about three hours, because um, as soon as I'm finished recording this video, I'll be rendering it up, um, or rendering the last episode up. Rendering this one up and uh, helping somebody to test a map, among other things, because I've agreed to do quite a lot for them, because I believe in the quality of what they've made. Granted, I haven't started testing yet, but I believe in the quality based on what they've done in the past. Um, no hints there. Plenty of hints, actually. But nothing that can de definitely name what I'm do what I'll be helping out with. Um, so the many reasons I say respect modders because you have no idea how much like if you've never tested a map or worked on a map or worked on a mod, which I haven't, so I can't say how much work goes into a mod. I feel like I can complain about like people getting lazy towards the end of stuff when there's very very basic things that take like 10 minutes to do missing and I can tell that it's like missing because they ran short on time um, because they and this is this is something I've noticed about modders uh, through all of my interactions with them is that they have a very hard timetable in their heads of when things are going to happen at times. And um, two people I know that don't, uh, three people actually I know that don't, are Bullet Bill, Oxygen David, and Dusty Dave. And you look at the quality of their maps, they're all, you know, definitely high quality. Dusty Cove gets a free pass here because Dusty Dave was doing it as a challenge to himself to see if he could make a map in six weeks. There's a big difference between making a map properly and doing one in six weeks because that was speed mapping. Um, but I know from experience that Dusty Dave or Oxygen Dave and Bullet Bill, they don't have set timetables. 
That's why I always say, now, don't bother asking when a map's coming out, because most mappers will give you a timetable, and then, like, and modders do the same. They'll decide on a timetable in their heads, and they'll be like, okay, well, it's coming out on August 4th at 4.13pm exactly, and that's when I'm going to upload it. And if at 4.12 there's 10 minutes work to be done, they'll upload what, what they have at 4.12. So what always happens during the Giants mod contest is people just run out of time and because they said it's going to be a mod contest mod, they upload it regardless and they miss out on the, the final bits of polish. Um, and some map, some people, and I've had experience of trying, having actual arguments with people over this, will like decide, oh but it needs to be up as soon as possible. No, 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 no. You spend as long as you can testing it. Or as long as it's necessary testing it. Um, which is usually as long as you can still be finding bugs, you're you're not finished testing. As soon as it go you go like two or three days without finding a bug, that's when testing is finished. That's when the map map or mod or whatever is ready to be uploaded. So again, mod contest stuff usually Well I'll say I, for one, had a much higher standard than I usually would for the mod contest stuff because, with Dusty Cove aside, um, most of it I figured was being made for a while. Um, also, Dusty Cove was the only map I looked at, and I know there were at least two other maps in the contest that had issues, um, including, might I add, one that I was, one that uh, Sim was playing. That we both agreed looked beautiful, but it turned out to just be a show map because it had so many issues, and there were so there were basic issues as well. I need to just just realize this thing does need to be strapped down, doesn't it? That is quite a full trailer of logs, I must say, and it's for me very well stacked. Like considering it's me doing it, that's a good. That's a good stack of logs. In fact, it's so good I'm gonna take a thumbnail. <laughs> uh, shift H. Come around like this. I want to get the uh, Scorpion King in the background as well. In fact, I want to move the Scorpion King around a bit. There we go, that's a thumbnail. Did that save? It did. There we go. Sometimes with the... I was using creator tools for zoom and flying and sometimes it goes a bit wonky. So let's get this... Oh, English Dave. Let's get this... There we go. Over to the... Uh, the industrial estate and uh, not go to the milk sill point. Hello, Sim. And ooh, 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 ooh. not flip the trailer, most importantly. Because the load has shifted slightly. Let's get this into the industrial estate and uh, figure out somewhere to unload it, I think. Either that or just leave the logs where they are and come get them when I need more logs. Um, I think the second option is probably going to be the better one. But uh, I will be ending the video once we get up to the industrial state and figure out what, what we can do with this. Oh no! At least I didn't flip, I just spun it out a bit. Um, what did I? Oh, I hit a tree. <laughs> Dang it, Oxygen David. But yeah, la 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 la. No idea what I'm doing anymore, do I? No, I don't. Why do you people still watch me? I'm clearly losing my mind. Um, 
Don't leave though, because I, I like having people watching me losing my mind. Uh, let's not get up on that, apparently. Can I... Ooh, can I mount this from the other side, maybe? Because it would be really convenient if I could get the tractor actually actively into the... Or at least the trailer into the cell point. Or into the... Not the cell point, but into the trigger. Um, because then it'll auto-unload. <laughs> And my laziness knows no bounds. Do you get into the... There we go. Auto unload, yo. That is that with... 45,053 litres. Yeah, that's about as much as it can take. 4,000 litres. Okay, let's get this started up again. Um, because I do believe that throwing more wood over here, like that, we, uh, yep, it'll take more wood. That's at four liters, that's producing now, which is nice. Uh, we, I think I do need to empty this out soon, 7,500 liters, yeah, that's going to need to be emptied soon. We've got quite a bit of compost, which is nice. Um... And I think that the pallet maker is also full, which means we do now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, effectively seven logs that are running as spares, which is always good. And on that note, I will leave you by saying, what? what was that voice crack? I will leave you by saying, I've been Rainbow Dave, you've been watching Farming Simulator 17 on Thornton Farm. That can take more logs, as it turns out. Because one's just disappeared from the bottom. How many more logs is the question? Because if I shimmy... If I shimmy these around from this end here... Um, it should, in theory, take all the logs that it can. In fact, this might be more beneficial is to uh, yeah I'll leave you guys by saying I've been Rainbow Dave you've been watching Farming Simulator 17 on Thornton Farm where I'm bashing logs with a claw to see if they'll do anything interesting um, hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button hit subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications as well because um, it seems like YouTube's being a bit weird for people who don't have notifications turned on uh, that's something that uh, Simulate and I have noticed over the past few days. We've been watching numbers and tracking statistics and being all boring. And, uh, oh, we need I need to move this at some point. Let's get this over. Uh, yeah, until next time, stay safe. And I'm going to sell this honey. Goodbye. <laughs>